You've probably heard the stories about how much trouble EGR valves are for your diesel engine. And it's true that their history has given them a bad reputation. We know it's frustrating to be facing expensive repairs because of a part so many people consider unnecessary and it fails. You want to avoid the additional downtime and service costs associated with EGR problems. So many drivers have turned to deleting their systems from their engines. This might solve one problem, but it can create even more issues for your engine, especially if it's done poorly. Today, I'm gonna to take you through why people have chosen to delete and what problems that can cause. The EGR valve is responsible for the recirculating of the exhaust gas to the intake system to help increase engine efficiency and reduce NOx emissions. There's a lot of information circulating about EGR systems and how unreliable they are. It's true that when they first were released, these systems would often leak, cause excessive soot, and carbon buildup. This caused major problems in the engine. This led to frequent and expensive repairs for operators. To avoid reoccurring problems and constant downtime, many operators chose to delete the EGR system from their engines. More recently though, the technology has improved considerably and the components are much more reliable. But we have better EGR valves, better variable geometry turbos than ever before. But the reputation is stuck, and a lot of people still think that the way to keep their engine running best is to delete their engines. They see this as a never having to worry about replacing EGR cooler or EGR valve again. What some people don't realize is that, well, yes, deleting EGR system can help prevent some expensive repairs. It can also cause major problems in other parts of your engine. First, deleting an engine takes you out of EPA compliance and it's illegal. Doing so can lead to fines and other serious penalties. You also run into the issue where your engine warranty is voided and some shops will no longer work on your engine. Aside from that, although you can actually cause serious damage to your diesel engine. When the engine is built with an EGR system, the whole system is designed to work together. The EGR valve and EGR cooler control the amount of oxygen that's brought into the engine, which controls the combustion temperature and keeps it within range. When the system has been deleted, often these calibrations aren't properly taken into consideration. The compression ratios aren't changed, the temperatures aren't dropped, and the engine timing isn't altered. Suddenly, you've created an environment where overheating and high pressure can create some serious problems. Instead of replacing EGR valve and EGR cooler, you're looking at much more expensive repairs, rebuilding an engine, replacing a cylinder head. So it really comes down to, if the engine is being deleted, are the rest of the systems being negatively affected? Calibrations aren't something we deal with here at HHP because they're in violation of federal EPA laws. But if someone still chooses to go ahead and delete, it's important that the calibrations are done correctly. Cylinder pressures and temperatures are within operating range and timing is addressed. Nowadays, there are so many calibrations on the internet forums that might seem to work, but what really cause even more problems for your engine in the long term. It's like getting a medication from a doctor that doesn't really know what the medicine is, but he trusts the person he got it from. You just really don't know what you're using. More and more calibrations have become available for people because the engines have been out longer. Uh, there's no guarantee that they're good calibrations though. There might be a calibration for a big horsepower, but it doesn't develop that horsepower properly, and you can end up with more expensive repairs. It causes high cylinder pressure and high temperatures that result in cracked heads and VGT turbo damage. It's like having high blood pressure, and you don't know what's going on until it's too late. Despite these issues, some people still choose to keep their engine deleted. If that's the case, it's important to go back to the basics, timing and compression ratios. Temperatures all need to be within specification, and it's a risky procedure that needs to be done correctly or your engine will be an even higher risk for failure than ever before. At Highway and Heavy Parts, we're dedicated to helping you get the right parts for your diesel engine repair. We have a team of experts who can also help troubleshoot your problems and help you find the parts that you need. If you're having trouble with your EGR system or VGT, we can help. When it comes down to it, we know you want the highest quality parts at the best price, and you want them fast. We only source our parts from the highest quality manufacturers to ensure you're getting parts that will last. We have a large inventory of parts to get you back up and running quick. 
The majority of our parts ship in two days or less. Don't sacrifice quality. At Highway & Heavy Parts, we're dedicated to bringing you the best quality replacement parts backed by an industry-leading warranty. Our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts for our customers. So if you're looking for an affordable OEM quality diesel engine parts with expert advice on the other end of the line, we're here to help. If you have any questions about EGR systems, you can call me or any of the other ASE certified parts techs at 844-447-1453. Or you can chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube and Facebook to stay up to date with all the news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.